If you had the opportunity to ask someone worth $26.5 billion and the owner of one of the most recognized cryptocurrency exchanges on the planet, what he was investing in, would you take the chance to do so? Of course you would, but you don't have to, because in this UTG update, we're going to pull back the curtains on the most significant investments of Sam Bankman Freed and his team at Alameda Research. If you want to know what they are, stick around. Yes, thank you so much for joining me. It's Tex here from unitytradinggroup.com. If you're picking up what we're putting down, hit that subscribe button, turn on that alert icon, and get notifications every time that we go live for our weekly market updates or release new content just like this. So Sam Bankman-Fried, uh, an absolutely brilliant, influential figure in the space of cryptocurrency at the moment and the owner of the FTX exchange and Alameda Research, which you can learn more about at Alameda, alameda-research.com um, or follow Sam Trabucco or SBF on Twitter who are very, very open uh, about what they're doing, what they're investing in, their thoughts on the space. He's in a, a, a different interview every single day. So I highly encourage you, you Google him and uh, and watch some of his podcasts that he's appeared on. So there was a really interesting article that came by my desk the other day from Three Commas that talks about the major startups that Alameda Research are investing their tens of millions of dollars into. Beyond FTX, uh, which was founded by Sam Bankman Freed, the fourth biggest cryptocurrency platform in the world at the moment, doing between two and a half to four billion dollars in transactions a day. And his team at Alameda Research are very actively jumping into new cryptocurrency startups with the likes of Solana, which we'll begin with. Solana at the moment, if you haven't heard about Solcoin at the moment, um, you must have been living under a rock for a little bit because it's arguably the it coin of the moment recently made new all-time highs and really what the purpose of Solana is is uh, as the major competitor to Ethereum so where Ethereum is doing around 25 uh, tw uh, transactions per second it's quite a boggy network high transaction fees Solana on the other hand offering 65,000 transactions per second with far lower transaction fees. So that's the major premise of, of the Solana blockchain. Um, and Alameda invested quite a fair bit into it in the initial seed round, which raised $25.6 million. FTX and Sam Bankman Freed started really talking about this project a lot. A second seed round netted $314 million. So after Alameda being one of the major liquidity providers initially for this, uh, Solana really now stands on its own two feet. So if you look now at Solana from the lows, it was around $3 where FBS tweeted and he said, sell me all the soul that you have and then you can F off. So that was a little while ago now and since then it's done around 27,000% gains from that uh, from that $3 tweet all the way up to its recent high at around 215 216 bucks. So we can see it's had a little bit of a pullback, but looking at, at just how much hype uh, surrounds this coin and just how much SBF is really talking about it, along with these other ones that I'm going to show you in a moment, um, do your own TA. Nothing I talk about is financial advice, but I really believe that Sol is a coin that a lot of people will be continuing to talk about for quite a number of uh, months and years to come. So Sol coin, one of the major competitors or the Sol blockchain to Ethereum. Next, Serum uh, is one that SBF is quite actively involved in on a day-to-day -day basis as well. So it recently announced or, or last year announced a, um, a, a partnership between uh, FTX and Solana and Serum. So Serum is built on the Solana blockchain and it's a decentralized exchange built on the Solana blockchain which started its development as I said thanks to FTX and Solana so you can see that there's a lot of interest from these big guys in this particular project um, and as I said is actively supported by Alameda Research and SBF himself so let's have a look at that from the lows uh, which was around what was the lows we were sitting at around 60 odd cents peaked out recently at around 13 bucks so you can sort of see we have a pretty significant full pullback to 750 from that 13 dollar mark um, if, if you look at this with a little bit of an eagle eye you could probably recognize the the shape that it looks to be sort of making but again this is not financial advice but if if SBF is actively investing his time in a project such as this and we have the opportunity to to invest in that or, or look at that ourselves that may certainly be something that you want to consider serum is a coin that i've been um trading quite a fair bit myself as of late 
nothing I say is, is financial advice, remember that. Perpetual protocol. So that's a, a decentralized perpetual contract protocol for each asset based on a virtual automated marker, uh, market maker. So the VAAM, this is the perpetual protocol. So it allows you to trade at, uh, at around 10 to 20X at the moment. It's done around $17 billion in all time volume, 15 uh, markets, 3 million trades executed, and 2K traders served. So again, this is something that these guys are investing their dollars into at the moment. So Alameda was a part of an initial $1.8 million funding round for the project last year. And in addition to uh, SBF's investment company, Multicoin Capital, Three Arrows Capital, and CMS Holdings also participated in funding the startup. So a little internet, uh, interesting uh, decentralized um, exchange or platform. I myself don't use it, but certainly it's uh, it's one to, to continue to watch. Blockfolio, I'm sure anyone that has ever traded cryptocurrency has had the Blockfolio app on their phone at some point in time. A very handy little tool. If you're not using something like three commas, for example, or, or something like that that's a little bit more PC based. Uh, but these guys are pretty actively involved in that as well. And then Ren. So Ren was developed uh, in 2017. And from that, um, the, the, the guys at uh, SBF um, and Alameda Research have invested in this. So the idea behind the project is to enable the rapid transfer of assets between blockchains. So the rent network allows coins from one blockchain to be exchanged for an equivalent on the uh, on another blockchain. So a very interesting little uh, concept behind that. If we look at Ren, has not uh, done anything too notable as of late, but we look at it from the lows here at around, uh, what's that? two cents or whatever it was there, up to around $1.80. We've had quite a significant little pullback and seem to be recovering in a little bit of a rally there. Almost looks like an accumulation cylinder if I look at that without any sort of TA sitting at around $1.09 at the moment. So Ren, not something that I've traded um, necessarily myself, but certainly after looking at this article and looking more into this, it is a coin that I'll be paying attention to. It only takes a couple of tweets from some notable people to, to see how it may influence the price of a coin. So I would certainly be following these guys on Twitter to understand what they're looking at and, and when their interests are, are invested in this. So three commas, uh, I love three commas and uh, little shill here if you'd like our affiliate link for three commas, you can have a look in the show notes below. We do actually have one of the most viewed three commas platform walkthroughs on YouTube at the moment. So last year, Alameda amounts a three, $3 million investment in the three commerce platform, a three commas platform. So SBF noted that his company's main development goals are fully aligned with the strategy of three commas trading platform, which has been striving for several years to provide traders and investors with the most convenient crypto trading. So three commas is, is absolutely brilliant. It's all in one trading platform where you can go set your buy sells, take profits, um, use DCA bots, a whole bunch of stuff there. And myself and ads would never trade without this platform. You can put all of your own platforms or exchanges into the one uh, platform where you can control everything from, from one single entity rather than being on Binance, you know, FTX, whatever it is, it all integrates into one platform. It is absolutely brilliant. I absolutely love it. So learn a little bit more about that. But really, that that is those are the, the main things. So I just want to highlight here soul serum ren and of course ftt coin if you're that's that's the ftx coin itself um it is another very notable project from myself that i am in actively looking at and trading and uh, have quite a vested interest in that one as well so i hope you enjoyed that 26.5 billion dollars pulling back the curtains and very openly telling you exactly what he's looking at and his company are actively investing in as i said follow the smart money because these guys are the smartest in the game see you soon